Buenos dias y bienvenidos. Good morning. Welcome once again to Tiempo. I'm Joe Torres. A U.S. immigration policy benefiting Cuba has ended. The policy, pies mojados, pies secos, was put in place 22 years ago and gave those fleeing Cuba a fast track to citizenship. The decision, a major shock to the Cuban population in our area. We'll have more on this coming up in just a few minutes. Right now, though, following up on the promise he made on the campaign trail, President Trump and his administration are working hard to dissolve the Affordable Health Care Act, also known as Obamacare. The new commander-in-chief has said he will replace the health care plan with his own version. Advocacy groups and Latino Democrats have organized rallies across the nation that warn repealing the Health Care Act would adversely impact Latino families. So what options will families have if, all of a sudden, they once again find themselves uninsured? Well, the medical center in Westchester County has a plan and a health care alternative. Here with us this morning from the Forme Urgent Care and Wellness Center in White Plains, Maria Drusa, Gina Capelli. Thank you, ladies, for being here with us. Have you had a lot of people knocking on your door or phoning you saying, I'm worried, I'm covered under the Affordable Health Care Act. If it's not around, I'm not covered. What's it been like the last few weeks? Absolutely. We actually created a call center. Did you? Yes. Out of necessity? Uh, out of necessity. Mm -hmm. uh, phone calls. Uh, the way we used to operate in the front office, we had the phones being answered by our receptionist. Yes. But it's gotten so busy that we cre we had to create a call center in a matter of a week. Mm -hmm. You know, you're at the point where you've had to hire other people, yes. had to hire more staff, had to hire more technicians. Share yes, with me. Yeah. yes, we have, uh, we're hiring uh, new nurses, we're hiring practitioners uh, okay. just to even handle our urgent care as well as we brought in specialty medicines as well to our facility. Mm -hmm. Why does it work for your operation that if you are suddenly find yourself uninsured that you would be a viable alternative for many Latino families? What is it that you offer that perhaps other places don't? So we created a concept of a medical membership Okay. It's um, quite um, the concept. Uh, and we knew we, we have something special when we started speaking with doctors and people in the healthcare field. And they were amazed that nobody has thought of that before. Okay. Does it work like a golf club where I want to be a member, I pay a small fee or a fee, etc. Yes. And I can take advantage of the services. So the concept is for a dollar a day, $365 a year, mm -hmm. you become a member of the Forme Medical Center family. Okay. And we begin taking care of you. What restrictions are there? If I don't like the service that I'm getting, can I go somewhere else? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we, leave, we live in a, a free country, so it is a free medical center. Understood. You, you have the choice, and if you decide that the membership doesn't work for you, we will definitely take care of that. And Would we you, are not an insurance company. You're not an insurance yeah, company. Correct. Well, let me ask you this. Does the membership fee sustain you financially if you get an influx of people who either can't afford or don't pay or uninsured? I mean, how do you move forward? Well, the fees, the fees are, are lower, a lot lower than okay. what they would pay out of pocket if they went anywhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, what we've tried to do is we try to compare it pretty much to what Medicare is, which is pretty much the federal standard. Okay. Uh, so when people come in, yeah, they, they pay a very low cost to be able to get these services, mm -hmm. uh, as well as we have a strategic partners uh, outside of our facility that also are working with us to be able to give labs and, okay. and diagnostics, and things Partners. that we may not have within our facility. Uh, uh, would, would one of those things be experts in the field of either diabetes, cancer, yes, absolutely. et cetera? Okay. That's correct. Right. Right. And, and Joe, one thing that I want you to understand, and, and actually I want the public to understand, is that in healthcare, nobody talks about the cost of healthcare to the uninsured population. Yes. Um, in the medical field, it is standard to be able to increase your charges 300% of Medicare. Okay. So Medicare is the fee schedule that everybody follows. Then for the self-paid community, you're increasing 300% of that. Mm -hmm. What we've come up with, with the medical membership, basically we're saying we are willing to take Medicare rates or even a little bit below Medicare rates because yeah. now the patient is actually paying at the time of service. So the discount works because you're paying at the time of service. We don't have to do billing. We don't have to wait for Medicare or any of the insurance companies to pay us. Mm -hmm. So we have decided to cut down our fees, be able to collect at the time of service and discount uh, throughout the entire medical mm -hmm. center. Does this work for undocumented families as it well? Does. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, anyone is welcome to come and have the membership as long as they don't have insurance on their own. Mm -hmm. If this plan works so well, why haven't other people done it? 
I mean, I know you can't speak for that. Yeah. I, yeah. I can tell you one thing. Uh, personally, you know, one of the reasons I joined my partner, Gina Capelli, is because we both share the the desire to help and help the uninsured community mm -hmm. not just the uninsured community but i can tell you i'm dominican i was born and raised in the dominican republic i came here and i i have the same struggles that many of the immigrants mm -hmm. are having right now so being able to take care of a community that is not able to qualify for health insurance yeah. with the medical membership means a great deal to you. It means a lot. Yeah, and not just professionally. Yeah, exactly, personally. personally. It's quite dear to me. Sit tight. Many more questions for you. We're up against a break. When we come back, more on the Form A Urgent Care Center in White Plains. Still ahead on the impulse, the major shift in policy and what the U.S. says it won't do anymore for people who come here from Cuba. When we come back. The affordable health care options for Latino families if they suddenly find themselves uninsured once Obamacare is no more. We've been talking this morning, very interesting, with Maria Trusa and Gina Capelli from the Form A Medical Center and Urgent Care in White Plains. Let me ask you this. You say you're operating now in a membership layout, if you will, for lack of a better word. How many members do you have now? How many do you anticipate? We have 200 members right 200 now. 200 now. Uh, the anticipation is for 2,000. Wow. But uh, to be honest with you, I think we are going to definitely surpass that. Mm -hmm. And 2,000 members, are, are, are you ready for that? I mean, we're ready. You, you are? We're ready. You know. We're gearing up with more doctors. We're bringing on more physician practices, different specialties. Mm -hmm. We are definitely ready. For uh, I'd love to know the reaction when you call a doctor and you call these other helpers or other providers. Uh, when you say to them, we're Form A and this is the way we operate and we'd like to bring you on board, what's the reaction to the approach that you're taking to healthcare? Well, we're actually approaching the single physicians, the single okay. providers that have not been gobbled up by the hospitals sure. as of yet. Uh, they're really finding it very hard to survive in a, in a single practitioner world. Okay. So we become an alternative for them as well. We take care of building and running their practice. So you help them as much as they right. help you. That's right. right. Okay. But Joe, in addition, we have uh, other specialty practice, like we have an orth uh, orthopedic group of 10 okay. doctors. And at the beginning, when uh, I had this meeting with him, uh, with one of the owners, yep. uh, he was extremely interested in the concept. He could not believe that something like this existed. And that it's working. And that it's working. Mm -hmm. So we had our last meeting yesterday, uh, last week, and there were more. Mm -hmm. So they gave us Medicare fees to be able to do surgeries. Mm -hmm. Surgeries. Sure. We have a surgical center that we went in the same thing. We discussed the membership program. What people are realizing is that the opportunities here are tremendous mm -hmm. because the volume, that the, the amount of people that are in need of what we've created is tremendous. It, it, it scares me a little when you say we open a surgery center because opening a surgery center is not the same as opening a 99 cent store. I, no, we didn't open it. Or, 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 to, or to move in that direction, to open up new facilities is wonderful, but, but where do you find the expertise? Where do you find the architect? Where do you find the guy that says, you know, here's how you build it because this is all new and foreign to you? Yes, no, no, so you misunderstood me. What I meant to say was that we have partners okay. that are as we are associating with mm -hmm. so these these are actually already in article 28 they are already, yes. that is already okay. functioning but they are latino families in this case benefit largely from the approach that you're taking but latinos also have some of the highest rates of diabetes asthma obesity i don't need to tell you Correct. how prepared are you to specifically meet those health care challenges that latinos bring to the table so you know, we're very prepared. Like I mentioned to you, we're obsessed with our mission, mm -hmm. which, um, is? which is to really help people, especially the, the people, the, the population in need, mm -hmm. the population like the Latino population that needs so much help with diabetes and how to manage diabetes. Yes. So our, uh, we have doctors that are going to be helping us. But in addition to that, we're going to get very creative. We uh, develop a relationship with a local gym owned by mm -hmm. Latinos, and they're going to create programs for teenagers, for children, for adults that are going to involve dancing or different type of, you know, getting them motivated to it. It almost seems like you've become a resource center as well as a healthcare center. Yes. 
We have, not, and like I said, not just in the medical field, but with banking, with accounting, with, with legal services. We've teamed up with many not-for-profits that were able to help people who need to take the next step and don't know where to go. Education. Education. I mean, yeah. so, so you're literally pointing people in the we right are. direction. We are. You may not be the able, you may not be the people who can provide no. the specific issue, Correct. but you can say, listen, I know who to call. Exactly. 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 So, like education, you mentioned Latino youth. This yes. is a nonprofit organization that we work very closely, mm -hmm. and the idea is to help them become better and mm -hmm. us to be able to help other students. Do you find, especially when you're caring for people who are undocumented, undocumented immigrants, that building that trust is key? Yes to survival. They're putting their faith in you because there's always that little fear factor that they have about coming forward and like, stepping out of the shadows. It's yes. like they don't believe that this is out there for them. Mm -hmm. They walk into our facility, which is a beautiful state-of-the-art facility, and they're in awe of, this is really for me. we got less than a minute. I want to ask you this as a final question. If the Form A plan and the approach works and provides health care at, at lower costs than usual to families or individuals, what, what incentive would they have, therefore, to sign up for health care? Why, why even bother if I can just keep going to your place and get it for much cheaper? Is, so we, do, do, are you getting that yeah. feedback from other people that says, listen, uh, your, your service you has to be careful that it doesn't knock out other people? Uh, the, the concept is this is not insurance. We still want you to be insured because you're going to have to deal with um, possibly illness, you know, cancer or major yes. illnesses that you need to have the coverage. Gina and I talk about the perfect scenario will be to be able to get catastrophe insurance at a minimal rate mm -hmm. and be able to subsidize it with the membership program. Mm -hmm. That would be the perfect scenario. Well, continued success in your approach. You're in right planes now, and there's yes. there's there's looking at expansion, perhaps. Yes. Okay. Phone number we can put it up on. That is for if I call that number nine one four seven two three forty nine hundred. More information. Absolutely. We'll find out how you guys can help. Muy bien. Muchísimas gracias. Thank gracias you. Gracias a ti por tenernos. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. You're providing a key, key needed service. Okay. Coming up next on Tiempo, U.S. Immigration Policy.